Hi all. As a lead generation challenge uh, from my mentor Siddharth, I am going to tell you one betrayal story. I do have a list of so many stories, but this one is very you know close to me because by telling after hearing this, you will be able to make your mind you know what you have to do in the critical situation. So let's start. So it is a story uh, of 2020 end when I was working in one of the top MNC company name was SCL Technologies and uh, I worked there almost you know 13, 13 to 14 years and uh, I was one of the top performer and I have received multiple awards which is you know listed in my home also and I never had an intention to display because that this is what my nature I used to get and then I you know I'll keep it in my draw and uh, reason is not something you know I want to highlight because it is my you know personal belief yeah I have been appreciated so I'll be happy inside and that's all I'll keep it so this was you know my attitude so I was one of the top performer and so many you know value adds and patents etc i did for hcl uh, my uh, company and i was pretty happy working there and most of the time and i do appreciate i had uh, so many you know uh, supporting leaders i although i had a you know a bad experience from many of them but majority i found it very helping and uh, they helped me uh, in uh, from my personal uh, you know uh, front also and uh, i would like to name them one of them was ravi and then uh, ramesh and i might have missed few but uh, vijay etc so why i'm bringing it here because uh, now i'm going to move to the different section where you know uh, i you and me both may you know go into uncomfortable state so I do have a wonderful experience there initially working with them and within teams also they were very cooperative everything was fine but I don't know what happened suddenly in my last two years and uh, I, I really don't know the reason and uh, I moved to the different accounts maybe that structure has changed or whatever has changed and there is you know uh, a lot of uh, new leadership people also came from outside. So I was working with them and I was casual because I knew about, you know, how I handle my situation, I, how I handle my projects, etc. So I was pretty confident there. And a good thing working there was I can give my opinion to whoever it is, whether it is a senior leadership or it is, you know, my project management team, customer everywhere. So I never had a issue giving my opinion and my opinion will be very blunt. I never think about anybody else other than, you know, work, progress and customer. So that was the three, you know, uh, aspects which always helped me to achieve the desired goal. Now, other side, when it comes to the personal le level, empathy and all. So I knew my role and according to that, I used to work a lot. You know, and uh, I'll spend ta less time with my teammates because... I had a kid and I have to spend more time because that is also my personal belief like I have to spend too, uh, enough time, sufficient time with him also. So my work time was limited, you know. So in that limited time, I have to perform, give my maximum outcome. And I do remember in few recent years, you know, I used to work 12, 13 hours, 14 hours, something like that. Then again, I came back, came back on track thinking uh, and taking that decision like I have to stick with my personal policies you know uh, having the work-life balance and time for my kid so for that I ch I changed my you know uh, uh, one of the account so I was in uh, initially I started with the delivery and then I moved into the internal where solution RFPs etc will be done I had a wonderful experience in all of those things and my customers were very cooperative. I worked for the UK customers, U US customers, uh, Japanese, etc. And I was so surprised how they treat, you know, offshore team. Very kind and very generous, open to take feedback, open to give feedback. And I have remember 
once they have sent me the handwritten note and they have sent me the greeting card so customer name of performance food group so i have received a i received a greeting you know uh, from cfo and their all the leadership team because we worked on one of the critical you know assignment which really helped them so that personally was handed over to me uh, in bangalore location not even during customer visit immediately after completion you know that uh, project i i have received that so it was more than any award from me because receiving something which i really i was not expecting that like how much useful it is for them from the business point of view but what i did i put all my efforts on that even without realizing the overall impact i didn't know how many places it will be used but what i knew what i am going to do it that's a part of my job and i have to do it in maximum what i can put it so this is what i am telling you like this is what you know type of leadership and work everything i have done now i am not sure what happened exactly in my last two years slowly i i felt you know drastic change uh, in the behavior work environment etc and that freedom to express expression in the sense if i as a experienced person i have seen so many critical assignments etc and if i am giving my opinion at least it should be considered but instead of that there was very rough words you know used uh, against me what do you think about yourself and do you really know something like that and they were not aware of my history that is fine that's absolutely fine but even if i am not that even even i have not one of the you know known person still if somebody is giving opinion as a leader you should hear it out you can it's not necessary you consider it you take it implement it it's not necessary you have a brainstorm hai na session you take it but do not do demotivate them forget about demotivating you are having this and openly discarding that telling you know like what do you know what do you know about me do you know who i am so is it really a leadership trait i was so wondered and surprised you know this is what happened with me in hcl now because i had a extreme you know track history and i didn't like it and uh, there was a statement has been used like foolish so i don't know i have taken it personally and yeah it was a personal comment only so why why to take it personally na so i have raised it to uh, senior leadership and then a char team and uh, complaint kept going 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 at one point of time i started thinking is it really a big matter i mean is it really a bigger com- complaint i could have handled it actually i could have uh, uh, gone and talked to them again and asked like why you used you know such uh language and why are you demotivating what is intention i could have done that but somehow i thought like let me take it to the hr team and after taking from there that was that was the actual suffering started before that it was okay everything why you know that small complaint became a such a huge you know like uh, you can say the war uh, momentum uh, with me and hr team and so many other team they started you know telling ki whether i am questioning the organization values i am a simple employee here i something happened to me maybe it is minor you just investigate and do action but you cannot put on me saying ki i am targeting something why would i target it you know i worked for this company for 12 years why would i target this tell me and why would i target that person am i really going to benefit you see my history did i do that earlier i never did because playing politics for the po- i used to get promotions etc hike everything for my performance i never go and i don't want to mention that but i never go and do and anything you know something to just get that in fact my personal belief and value system was that strong during performance time i will not even uh, you know interact too much with my manager reason is 
इट्स नॉट अबाउट यू नो कि वॉट अदर्स विल थिंक आई एम डूइंग इट इट्स माई ओन पर्सनल बिलीफ लाइक वॉट एवर इज इन योर माइंड यू डू इट आई एल टेक इट इन अ डिस्कशन सो माई वैल्यू सिस्टम्स वर दैट स्ट्रॉन्ग नो बडी कैन क्वेश्चन ऑन मी दिस बट आफ्टर दिस इंसिडेंट वॉट आई वेंट थ्रू दैट वॉज अ हेल्प फॉर मी दैट कंप्लेन कीप पासिंग फ्रॉम वन वन एच आर टू अनदर then another to third then they will say no now your account has changed so there is another you know unit hr has been assigned then again there will be third person something by the time my entire account was changed so i was started working there and initially i was pretty happy they were also telling yo you feel free to give your opinion you you worked here you know so long you can continue giving your opinion and i started giving as usual so when you don't you don't want to hear that then you please do not tell this to your team you simply say no i will do you know whatever i want want to do you just give your opinion it doesn't matter at least it will be straight forward like okay i will be very clear okay they will go according to their thing giving my opinion is they are just asking for the feedback that also they started taking personally i am targeting this i am targeting that and uh, environment became so pathetic like uh, it's it was a open abusive environment in the sense using bad language etc in meeting that is a very simple thing i objected i am a senior person if i will not do then who will do hai na so that language rough language and that vulgar etc so for that again i complained so now my hr team started wherever you go you have a you know issue so i said like i worked here 13 to 14 years i didn't have nobody told me then why are you telling like that so that also they took it as often she is telling like this something like that so after that i felt like they started disassociate dis <laughs> disassociating with me so i was least bothered about it then i took that complaint to the next level hai na something like that i have taken that to next level because it was a verbal verbal you know uh, uh, language issue and i was not able to take it official environment i will not take it i'm so sorry even personal also i will not take it so this is what it happened and uh, then they conducted a you know my interview with uh, l l3 l4 l2 head i have taken to l4 then l3 then l2 head so that was a lady her name anupama and she had everything and every discussion went well and i thought like i had a hope reason is i i felt like okay uh, whoever is you know ladies and all they will understand at least problem what i i have been through nothing happened after that actually my situation became worst worst it became an hr etc started targeting me they were openly targeting me and sad part is after giving so many you know awards so many things you are doing that to person who is you know raising issues for your company only and i went to whistle blower team also and the most funny team is uh, you know uh, here here team there is a three divas are sitting three diva i am calling them diva i will call they kept my complain and then they keep passing from one lady to another another to another another to another and whenever i'll go and ask them she will tell did you did you check with that person so yeah i checked it can you call this to this person so her name was uh, amy just a minute okay any something was there so it is here team h ha any sundaraj her name is any sundaraj she was leading the here team so after this incident i realized ki this is a simple you know verbal verbal abuse and what will happen when actual you know issues will come what these divas will do right so that was the biggest question then l2 head who had a you know proper authority to at least you know stop these people to create a further trouble for me she didn't do and then i have escalated to another senior management 
they also didn't do anything none of them did anything nobody came back and ask ask me and i was finally released to the bench and in the bench i was expecting some you know bad behavior will happen with me but luckily it didn't happen so funny part is i was always scared of bench i have because i have never been in bench and i heard you know very bad stories about the bench management you know especially in uh, hcl technologies but luckily or i don't know those were the rumor that might be the earlier i didn't have you know i had a uh, better experience because after going there i was feeling a bit relaxed and i took this entire dump of emails and i have shown uh, that to the hr team uh, bench hr and then manager and they cooperated because i was not expecting that also so they cooperated and they helped me and after that i moved to my you know another company uh, uh, offer i have received it but why i am telling this actually you know why i am telling this you can understand right when you raise it and it's going to higher level then hrs are targeting you how much stress i have gone through that time right it's a it's a big courage nobody does that nobody they will do in the favorable condition favorable in the sense somebody is there with them then they will do it and some manipulation distillation for others they will never do that hai na i did for many other people also but finally end of the day i was targeted saying you are targeting company for their values then what are they doing actually are they really working sometime i feel there is a no need of a chat department because anyway they don't do anything let's just create one chatbot hai na hr <laughs> chatbot you put a question there you will get the answer there no need to keep any hr team because what i have in, at least this you know software or chat box will not trouble you right if you can't do anything then at least they will not trouble you so this is what you know the reality which i have seen and i have a huge story huge incidents and because my observational you know skills are dramatically it's very high so i observe day to day you know activities and i have so many hundred stories about that how you know hr functions but this one literally a betrayal i felt betrayal in the sense why i believed there one to you know one person to another i believed because normally i heard like okay i was pretty aware many of you know my manager etc told don't go to the hr team they won't do anything you know but still i went there because it was not the hr team it was some internal team here which is not comes under hr and i i trusted them and they kept passing my issue one person to i really want to you know ask them if they will come across to this video if same thing will happen with your daughter right or your friends or to yourself also then what you will do actually right then will you cry or will you say like no something is happening to me that time you remember what you did to so many other people especially ladies so my request because it's a women's you know day month is going on please stop doing this please stop doing that and do not spoil name of you know any women empowerment women thing do not spoil because you are not at all doing anything instead you are sitting in the system and sucking blood of other women and that is the betrayal story i stop that challenge actually because i don't want to do i don't want you to do that but again why i thought like if i will not say here i couldn't say anything in entire year if this time also i will not say then i won't be able to speak this for my entire life so my request to you is please stop doing this please stop and my request to all other you know uh, hr team and all please do some introspection don't you if somebody will say anything about me my performance so i will at least look into the mirror and i will feel 
okay i shouldn't do that see we all are human being right and uh, we are working for the common goal of the companies and uh, doing this you may get you know hike you may get promotion also hai na for the cost saving whatever but i uh, will you be happy doing that to others because they also have a family your small action impact others entire family and you will realize once it will happen to you i'm i'm bluntly saying you will never realize you will realize only when it will happen to you and i'm 100% sure it will happen to you also okay this is what you keep doing it so it will happen to you also now my request to all other people you know who just keep watching who just keep watching because you know if you call them and my own colleagues my teammates etc you call them they'll hear it that's it but i never do in this way somebody is telling me some problem i i i you know almost fought for them i was taken till hr i talked to their manager and i it, it doesn't mean i was in senior position from long back i i was doing this and but i will never showcase this but i was doing that in background my intention to make this video because due to this challenge at least i am telling i am opening it reason is people suffer especially you know when women target another women nobody you know interfere also thinking what is simple typical mentality ki these women are fighting something like that don't get into this but nobody will see the truth behind that whether you are a man or women right you need to support who is suffering it doesn't matter who is a man or or women or any other gender right do not leave them like okay they are suffering in themselves let them do that okay and you also don't suffer you also don't suffer in the similar situation i am not saying ki i you might have seen this and then i suffered for the long longer period and i am raising it because it is my you know challenge to bring this out i kept this hidden hidden from many time and i left i kept suffering okay so it doesn't mean so as a manager also as a leader also something happened with your women employee and you think like okay that has to be reported do not think you just hai na uh, hand over to this team and your job is done do not raise your hands at least keep a check what is really happening and you will be surprised to know the truth the moment it's gone from you it's gone because other teams don't do anything they don't do anything better you resolve it those conflicts otherwise you keep the tell them directly you please go from here that's all at least we will not lose our emotional energy my emotional energy is more than my salary because if that is there my energy is there i'll get something else but if you'll keep eating that energy just due to pass the time that is not allowed i'm so sorry and please stop doing this my clear message to the here team three divas please stop doing this nonsense either you close the team or you move out of the team or give to the deserving person please because you're just just a useless you won't do anything and i'm 100% sure you will not be doing anything i am done with my you know uh, this post and i knew it will end like this but this was a challenge that is the reason i made the video so next time when you are looking into the mirror you please remember this ki to how many people you might have done this do you really deserve to handle such a, such issues if you are not capable if you are th that scared if you don't have your personal belief system you don't have your values then just especially move out of it and align yourself with the some other roles where 
it doesn't require better somebody else who really support these causes take over this team happy women's day you too